Well, to finish off this lesson, I would be really feeling guilty if I didn't give you a, a, a la Lightning Hopkins type of blues in E. Lightning was amazing, just a wonderful musician, played so many tunes in E and A, and I'm talking about so many tunes. If you look uh, on YouTube, you'll see that there are many clips, there are many uh, recordings of Lightning. He just recorded and recorded from the late 40s straight up until the time he passed away. My favorite uh, Lightning Hopkins recordings are those that he used the acoustic guitar. And there's one especially that's on Folkways, which is now issued by Smithsonian, and it's Sam Charters went down to Texas because Lightning had, everyone knew about Lightning because he had hit records in the early 50s. But he sort, of, he sort of disappeared off of the scene. And Sam went down there, and Mac McCormick gave him some addresses and some people to look up, and he found Lightning. Didn't have a guitar, because it was in porn. And fortunately, uh, Sam had a, a guitar, which was OK. And he recorded a record that came out on acoustic guitar, which I think is just fantastic. And it also has an interview section where he talks about when he was a little boy leading around Blind Lemon Jefferson. Now, Lightning's style is usually associated with Texas blues. But if you think about it, the two great guitar players from Texas are Blind Willie Johnson, the gospel slide guitar player, and Blind Lemon Jefferson. And Blind Lemon Jefferson and Blind Willie Johnson have nothing at all in common with Lightning Hopkins. Lightning has his own sound, but it's become so popular that people associate it that that's the Texas blues, that's the Texas sound. So we have a couple of, of different licks. Um, I'm going to. I've done this on a, some other uh, DVD lessons already, but now I'm going to show you some more licks in the key of E a la Lightning, and see what we can do. Okay. The first thing is his trademark lick. Taking this, which we saw in our first tune that we had on this lesson, and it's just our middle and our index finger, and you either brushing it up and doing triplets, one, two, three. And so your bass is just being hit when you hit that first beat, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I added... This isn't lightning. This is more a la Bert Yanch, if you want, where he has his middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. I should mention Bert Yanch is not from Texas. He was a British guitar player who had some very unique ways of playing traditional British music as well as playing blues. And this is something that Bert would do a lot, where he has his middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. And he takes his index finger and he slides, pull off, not slides, but hammers, pull off against the first fret of the fifth string, but he's pinching the fourth and the fifth string. And then to the third fret of the sixth string. And you can extend that. seventh now when I went to the A I could do that but I think it's nicer to do something like this so what is this I'm sliding to the semi A position and then coming down chromatically And then taking that note, that's a real sweet spot. So putting it together, I'm playing my A string bass. Stumble. And 
Now back to my lick. And now into a B7. Let's use that lightning B7. Stumble from the sixth to the fifth. Okay. And remember this motion that we had in our first tune? Get that E string, so the E note, so it really sings out. And then a turnaround, which we have plenty of those by now. You can also, this is really cool, just taking your index and your thumb and you're playing the first and second strings on this position, the seventh fret of the first string, the eighth fret of the second, and you're going up with that eighth fret of the second string. Let's see what other type of tricks we can do. That's another great lick. And it's way up on the high part of the net fingerboard. And what we have is our pinky on the 12th fret of the first string, index finger on the 10th fret. And with our middle finger, we hammer, pull off. And then our ring finger comes to the 12th fret of the third string and we can slide that back and we have this position and we're back to the E. So we can jumble these up in different fashions, different one after the other in different ways and that will give a unique blues that you can title whatever you want. You can put whatever lyrics you want to it. If you were singing it would be So I think what would be interesting is we'll split the screen and everything I'm going to play on the split screen will be tabbed out in your booklet so you can play along, follow the booklet, follow the screens, and let's see what we get. Here we go. <laughs> 